Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and welcome to this week's episode of The Dog Pound where I will be rounding up all of the latest news from the mobile technology space, some from last week and some from this week in today's headlines. Think of me as Cliff Notes, except actually useful. I can't tell you how many times I used Cliff Notes in school and then I got to the actual test and I was like, what? None of this was in Cliff Notes. How am I supposed to know this? So last week, Microsoft gave us a sneak peek of Windows Phone 8, which will be released this fall, but they shut off eight aspects of the OS, including some cool hardware features like support for SD cards, multi-core processors, and HD displays, as well as some software features like a new hub called Wallet. Now last week I made a video kind of recapping all of these features that Microsoft showed off so you can watch that video to kind of see more details about them. I'll have a link to it in the description, but let me know what you guys think of this update. Are you excited? Are you disappointed? Are there some things that Microsoft left out that you would like to see? Let me know in the comment section below. Now one of the bad things about this update is that as awesome as it is, no one is going to get it. Yeah, all current Windows Phone devices will not be updated to Windows Phone 8, so if you want to enjoy Windows Phone 8, you're going to have to buy a new phone this fall, which kind of sucks. But current Windows Phone devices will get an update called Windows Phone 7.8 that will include some features. We know for sure that it will have the new start screen. We're not sure if anything else will be included with that. But at least you'll get to enjoy the new start screen, which is one of the things that most people are looking forward to anyway. So are you upset about that? I don't know, let me know about that in the comments. Just leave comments, I like comments. I don't know, they, they make me feel happy, like you guys actually listen to me. You don't just watch just because you're bored. Now as far as which carriers will be offering Windows Phone 8 devices, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon have all said that they plan on carrying Windows Phone smartphones this fall. They'll have them ready. They've said they're very bullish on Windows Phone, which is like the new thing. It's the new phrase. Whenever you're excited about something, you're bullish on it. I don't know. Everyone is saying it now. Now, what could some of those devices be, you ask? Well, it just so happens that we have some leaked specs of three devices, all of them from HTC, the Accord, the Rio, and the Zenith. Now, the Zenith is by far the best of these three devices. It's rumored to have a 4.7 inch 720p Super LCD 2 display, a quad core processor, an eight megapixel camera, and it is supposedly going to support 42 megabits per second HSPA+, so possibly T-Mobile in there, or maybe AT&T. We'll have to wait and find out. Uh, check out this article for more details on the other two phones, and of course, we'll keep you updated on any other Windows Phone 8 devices that we hear about, so keep it on phonedog.com for that. But that wasn't all Microsoft announced last week. We also got to see Microsoft's Surface tablet, which will be running Windows 8, not Windows Phone, Windows 8. Now the hardware on these are somewhat similar. They both have a 10.6 inch clear type HD display, but the Pro version comes with more ports, more memory, and then again, a more advanced version of the operating system. The Microsoft Surface, the Windows RT version, is rumored to cost about $599 Wi-Fi only for the time being, at least at launch. And then the Microsoft Surface Pro version is rumored to cost about a thousand bucks. Kind of makes sense when you think about the Windows RT version being more like a tablet, you know, kind of matches that price. And then the Windows 8 Pro version being like a computer, a thousand dollars, though kind of pricey sort of fits. We'll give you guys more updates on this as we see them, but let me know what you think about these prices. $599, is that cheap enough to compete with the iPad? Is it too much? Are they dead on arrival? Let me know what you see in the future for the Microsoft Surface tablets, and just let me know what you think of them in general. Speaking of tablets, today we saw leaked renders of the Google Nexus tablet, which everyone is pretty excited about because it's, well, the first Nexus tablet. We're supposed to see it at Google I.O., but we get an early sneak peek with these renders. Now the Nexus tablet is rumored to have a 7 inch 1280 by 800 display, a quad core Tegra 3 processor, and Android 4.1 in tow. Now I recently got confirmation from the Google Play Store kind of inadvertently that Android 4.1 will in fact be called Jelly Bean, and so now we know that we will probably also see Jelly Bean at Google I.O. later this week. Now let's move on to the segment that in some twisted way is now everyone's favorite segment called Where's My Update? So last week, Motorola confirmed that the Droid Razor and Razor Max are now receiving Android 4.0. It started on the 22nd, which was Saturday, I think. So if you don't have it yet, 
Keep checking your phone, it should be there in a little bit. Also available right now is the Android 4.0 update for the AT&T version of the Samsung Galaxy S2. So again, check your phones, you should be getting that right now. Now along with the good news, there's also some bad news. So Shiba has said that it is delaying the Android 4.0 update for its Thrive tablets. It was supposed to be here in the spring, but now Toshiba is saying that it won't be here until the fall. We'll keep you guys updated on if they give us some more specific dates. When the update comes out, we'll definitely let you know. But you Thrive users, you're gonna have to wait a couple of more months for Android 4.0. And that has been this week's episode of Where's My Update? So that's the news and that's the show. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and I will see you guys later. Bye.